praise Him, the Lord of God Almighty. Stand up and praise Him. Let's lift a voice on high. Let's magnify His name. His glory be proclaimed. His righteousness remains. Forever He shall reign. Stand united and sanctify the Lord. His majesty be worshipped, His glory be adored. Rejoice and sing a praise of love. Lift up our voices and be glad and magnify the Lord above. Stand up. Lord our God Almighty, stand up and praise Him. Let's lift a voice on high. Let's magnify His name. His glory be proclaimed. His righteousness remains. Forever He shall reign. The Lord our Savior. Now and forevermore, go on unto the nation and shout his holy word. Rejoice and sing your praise of love. Lift up our voices and be glad and magnify the Lord above. Stand up and praise him, the Lord our God Almighty. Stand up and praise Him. Let's lift a voice on high. Let's magnify His name. His glory be proclaimed. His righteousness remains. Forever He shall reign. Stand up, stand up for the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries worthily. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, to my faults, through my faults, to my most grievous faults. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting I will be white 
cold and snow. I will be whiter than snow. I will be whiter than snow. I am made whiter than snow. Father, we sing to your name. Wonderful, mighty are you. All of creation with us shouts out your praise. Angels on high, men on earth, things that have life that have not, rally together to sing glory to God. To God, and peace to man. Jesus, your Son, came to earth, bringing your life to us all. Peace to this world, we did give in your great name. Jesus, we sing to your name. Merciful, loving are you. All those who saved in your love, bow at your feet. Glory to God, Glory to God. and peace to men. Glory to God, Glory to God. and peace to men. Spirit, we sing to your name, life-giving, holy are you. Gather all men of the world into your love. Send us your power, make us new. Pour out your joy in our hearts. Grant us your light to declare. Jesus the Lord, glory to God, glory to God. and peace to man, peace to man. glory to God. the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection, made through the renewal brought by your Spirit, rise up in the light of life, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, Peter opened his mouth and said, You know the word which was proclaimed throughout all Judea, beginning from Galilee after the baptism which John preached. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. How he went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed by the devil. For God was with him, and we are witness to all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. But God raised him on the third day and made him manifest, not to all the people, but to us who were chosen by God as witnesses, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. And he commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one ordained by God 
to be judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Worship His Majesty Unto Jesus Be a glory, honor and praise Majesty Kingdom authority Those from His throne Unto His own His anthem reign A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brethren, if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. To the Paschal victim, let Christians offer a sacrifice of praise. The lamb redeemed the sheep. Christ sinless, reconciled sinners to the Father. <coughs> Death and life were locked together in a unique struggle. Life's captain died, now he reigns, never more to die. Tell us, Mary, what did you see on the way? I saw the tomb of the now living Christ. I saw the glory of Christ now risen. I saw the angels who gave witness, the clothes too which had once covered head and limbs. Christ my hope has arisen. He will go before his own into Galilee. We know that Christ has indeed risen from the dead. Do you, conqueror and king, have mercy on us? Amen. Alleluia. Kindly rise for the gospel. Alleluia. 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 For the Lord God of me potent the Lord be with you your a reading from the Holy Gospel According to John, Glory to you, o Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early, while it was still dark and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Peter then came out with the other disciple, 
and they went toward the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. And stooping to look in, he saw the linen clothes lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb. He saw the linen clothes lying, and the napkin, which had been on his head, not lying with the linen clothes, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who reached the tomb first, also went in, and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not know the scripture, that he must rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters in Christ, I am sure that most of us know the seven wonders of the world. One of the greatest wonders is the Egyptian pyramids. It's a gigantic tomb containing the mummified bodies of the Egyptian pharaohs. If you go to England in Westminster, there is the Abbey, which is very famous. Thousands of people visit it because the dead bodies of famous writers, philosophers, politicians are entombed there. There is a shrine in the Holy Land called the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem. And pilgrims from all over the world visit a tomb there which is empty with a note at its entrance which says he is not here. It is famous because Jesus Christ was once buried there, rose from the dead, leaving an empty tomb. As he had told his disciples, he would. Thus, he worked the most important miracle in his life, defying the law of nature, and proving that he is God. We rejoice at this great and unique event by celebrating Easter. Easter is the greatest and the most important feast in the Catholic Church. It marks the birthday of our eternal hope. Christ lit Easter literally means the Feast of Fresh Flowers. We celebrate it with the pride and jubilation for three important reasons. Firstly, the resurrection of Christ is the basis of a Christian faith. St. Paul writes in his first letter to the Corinthians chapter 15, If Christ has not been raised, then our preaching is in vain. And our faith is in vain. If Christ has not been raised, then our faith is a dissolution. And you are still lost in your sins. But in fact, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruit of those who have fallen asleep. Christ has risen from the dead. And so, we have a great hope that each one of us will rise again. If Christ has not risen, then he will be just like any other men or women who were buried and forgotten. Maybe there will be few who will follow few of his teaching. Then, in the course of time, everything will come to an end. But in the life of Jesus, everything is a hope against hope for us Christians who believe in the empty tomb and the risen Christ. 
there were two ladies who were visiting Europe and they were at the foot of Fra Paris Notre Dame, a huge cathedral. One of the ladies asked the other, Today you see the world. We are grown. We are intelligent. But is there anyone who is able to build a cathedral like this? And the other said, Those people who built the cathedral, they had faith in herb, because of which they were able to build this magnificent structure whereby we can receive God's presence and God's blessings. But today, we have lots of opinion, but no faith at all. Secondly, this is a guarantee of our resurrection. When Jesus came to meet Martha and Mary after the loss of their brother Lazarus, the Lord says to Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will not see death. So Jesus gives us the hope of resurrection. Thirdly, this is the feast which gives us hope and encouragement. In this world of pain, sorrow and tears, it reminds us that, Christ, that the life is worth living. It is a belief in the real presence of the risen Christ in our souls, in the church, in the blessed sacraments, and this leads us to heaven at the end. Fourthly, brothers and sisters, this is the belief of the resurrection of Jesus Christ, that Jesus himself testified about his resurrection from the dead. The empty tomb was an Easter proclamation to everyone. He is also the proclamation to us who believe and who hope in the resurrection. Although the gods claimed that the disciples have carried the body of Jesus, how is it possible when there are 16 harmed Roman soldiers are guarding the, the tomb where Jesus has been buried. Also, this reminds us those covered disciples were frightened about their end. They disappeared in a closed room. This also reminds about the risen Christ. These covered disciples, after Jesus being repeatedly shown to them his risen, glorified body. Now, those who were covered become fearless, faithful, energetic, proclaiming the risen Christ to the others. Dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal mystery we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounced Satan and his works and promised to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you renounce Satan I do. and all his works I do. and all his empty show? I do. Do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? I do. Do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no mastery over you? I do. Do you renounce Satan, the author and prince of sin? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, 
the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by His grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. before God our Father, rejoicing because Christ has triumphed over death and he entered into glory. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Holy Father, Pope Francis, that like Saint Peter, he may continue to lead the church in witnessing to the joyful truth of the resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have dedicated their lives to God, that they may look for the things that are in heaven and be Christ's witnesses in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those unjustly deprived of their freedom, that they may draw fresh hope of freedom from the mystery of the resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the family of God gathered here in Easter joy, that we may bear witness to the risen Christ and reflect him in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they may rise to eternal life in Christ, especially our parishioners who passed away from last Easter to this Easter. Let us pray to the Lord. Almighty Father, your beloved Son has risen from the dead, as he promised us. In peace and joy we present our praise to you, through the same risen Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Exalted with Paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your Church is wondrously reborn and nourished. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day above all to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world by dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life therefore who are come with Paschal joy. Every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosting together, the unending hymn of your glory at the acclaim. Holy is only the one who comes in the name of God. Holy, holy, holy is he the one, the Lord Almighty. Ever and ever, often, often with your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna on high. Is it blessed? Blessed is he, the Lord, the one who comes on high. Blessed, blessed, blessed is he, the Lord, the God Almighty. Heaven and earth, often, often with your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna on high. Heaven and earth, 
sun of the Bioguri. Hosanna, Hosanna on high. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant a peace to God, unite and governor throughout the whole world. Together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Tumabala, our Bishop, and all those who are holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. Let us pray for each one of us here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them, we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysanagus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray graciously, accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, which we make to you also for those to whom you have been pleased to give the new birth of water and the Holy Spirit, granting them forgiveness of all their sins, order of our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day he was to suffer, he took on the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, is Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessings, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. 
do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of eternal salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel, the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, Command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angels to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessings through Christ our Lord. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, with their sinners, Hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints, admit us, we beseech you, into their company not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Through whom you continue to make all these good things, Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to sing. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who have prepared ourselves to receive him into our hearts. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to eternal life. I 
to walk with me and is my faith will you walk with me give me hope once again when my eyes grow dim will you let me see dear lord will you walk with me will you walk with me through the darkest nights when my world goes wrong will you make Walk with me, and is my pain. Will you walk with me? Give me hope once again. When my eyes grow dim, will you let me see, dear Lord? Will you walk with me, dear Lord? Will you walk with me?